Good morning, YouTube family. Uh, it's Deb, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. This morning, I'm out uh, picking a few radishes, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, look at some of the things that we're doing this morning. Aside from pulling radishes, um, we are preparing for a couple of cold nights. So, um, Hubby has started building the structure for the tomatoes. Let me turn you around here. So this, um, these are two by fours, a top of four by fours that we've got just going down either side of the tomato rows. And I think what we're going to do there is um, if it does get really, really cold, which they're saying it might get down to like 29 or 30, uh, we can drape plastic over the sides of these guys and that'll give them a little bit of protection. Um, and then for the peppers, we have things like buckets and ice chests and just pretty much anything we can find uh, that we're just going to tuck over the tops of them. We have some tubs and some trash cans and just we're just going to scrounge basically to get those together. Uh, the peas are coming up. They're doing pretty good. Let's see if I can get you over here to show you. So we've got the whole row of peas. And I'm not sure if you can see the little carrots down there, but the carrots are finally starting to pop up also. We have a big, beautiful waning moon. So if I remember correctly, the waning moon is when you plant things like radishes that you want uh, that produce a root crop. The only bad thing about gardening by the moon sign is you have to work with the weather and the moon. <laughs> and sometimes that is impossible. Uh, so we've got to plant corn soon. We should have probably already had those in the ground. But after this cold snap, we'll get the corn in the ground. And I wanted to show you also one more thing that we've been working on this last week that has kept us so, so busy is the chicken coop. Let me turn you around here. All right, so we have the uprights set in concrete. I don't know if you can see that down there. Got them set in concrete for the chicken run and he's got the holes in the roof patched. We still got to put a few screws in there. And then the next thing we're going to do, I think, is get in and redo the windows and the ventilation and put in their nest boxes. See, we got to do nest boxes, we got to do the roost, and we need to fix a hole that is right by the door. I'll show you that in another video. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is that the poke salad is up. And if you've never had poke and eggs, you are missing out because that is some good stuff. So I'll probably come and get some of these small leaves and shoots and uh, you have to boil them in at least two waters. Some people prefer three before you saute them up with your eggs. But it is amazing. So, poke salad, radishes out of the garden. We got green onions coming up in the garden that we're going to be harvesting a little at a time. Uh, we'll probably get a little bit for stir fry tonight. And 
I don't know, there's just so much going on. It's hard to capture it all in one video a day. And if I spent all day making videos, then I wouldn't get anything else done. But suffice it to say, we are loving it. We're having a wonderful time out here on the homestead. Just doing the thing. Just living the life. I wouldn't trade it for anything. So, if you can, <clears throat> if there's a way for you to enjoy nature at this time, then please do so. Nature has so much to offer us. And, uh, and we seldom get the opportunity to partake in it. So, if you can, please get out and enjoy a little bit of nature. Even if it's just out to the front garden or the front yard or the backyard, just for a little while. Enjoy what's blooming all around us because it is spectacular and we often miss it. Until next time, folks, be well, be safe, and we'll see ya.